This is hydrogen tap. This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus cell modified. And the tube that I used to check the output over here are the meters. You've got the amp meters on the left and the voltage on the right. There's a time counter which I'm not using at this point. The reason for this video is I've made a change and in interesting development. A lot of people have been after me for not using the neutral plates and even though I've been really down on them for that I have been checking into it. Last night I have gone and reconfigured the focus cell with neutral plates and an interesting thing has happened. One of the things that has happened is that it's taking instead of less than an eighth of a teaspoon of electrolyte, it is now taking a half of a teaspoon. As you can see, I'm using a clear tube now that's got the rather PVC on the bottom. This is going to be what I'm hopefully putting in the Honda so I can see what's going on. So that's one of the interesting things. The other interesting thing that's happened is that the uh, there seems to be an upper limit on the amount of voltage or the amount of amperage that goes through here. There's a lot of interesting things going on. Temperature wise is being held down by it. I've been able to get this system to run with less amperage using the neutral plates than before. Less amperage, more electrolyte. It's between 15 and 20 amps. I had it running on 50, 40, between 30 and 40 amps before, as you remember. So there's no question at this point that it's definitely made a big change. that. I'm going to start this in just a moment. And now. All right, that's about nine seconds, the same as before. We're going to run it again and do another test. I'll tell you when we go for it. Now, now it's about nine seconds.
this is our amperage reading here. It's about between 15. It's you could say that's 20, but these meters are not exactly accurate. So it's between 18. It. I'll go between 15 and 20. I know 5 is a lot, but I'm not going to go there because it, it's these are really inaccurate meters. But the whole point in this exercise is that actually it's looking, it's looking a lot like they were right, that the neutral plates are working. And everything else being the same. The other thing I'll show you is the temperature here. Still running and we got about a temperature of 86. It's looking like it's holding around 86. I'd be surprised if it didn't go to 90. All other tests that I've been running, putting out this amount of hydrogen, we're running around 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I haven't checked that out here. Okay, we've got it off now, and let's take a look at it. So again, there are some differences. Definitely more electrolyte. The temperature seems to be like it's going to be going the same but it's 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 I would say the temperature is going to be the same the difference is we're getting more hydrogen out of it at a lower amperage so we'll have to go with that at this point the way I'm doing the neutral plates is a lot different than the others And I'll show you how that works. Because after dissecting what they're doing, it seems to come down to a couple of things that I think you'll agree to agree with me on. Of course, if you want to write me at John Aarons at hydrogen tap tap .com, I'm be most glad to answer the emails. I do that a lot from all over the world. Also, you can look at my site, hydrogentap.com. I do put a lot up there you might want to check out. This seal that I came upon really definitely works. Can't say enough about it. Here's our plate system. Okay. This is the focus cell. As you can see, I have now got eight spacers between each plate of one side. So what I've in fact done is I've got every other plate positive, negative, and then a plate in between is the neutral plate. So I have a positive on one plate, a neutral plate, and then a negative plate. Positive, neutral, negative, positive, neutral, and so forth. The design of the cell enabled me to do that, which was pretty neat. And that's why it looks like it's spaced pretty far apart. Again, we still have the same top. So I've got a positive and negative coming in here. and turned out rather interesting. So if you look really close you can see that since there's a neutral plate in between now it has to have eight spacers between each side. And here's the other side. You can see how it works.